Hi, if you want to see how I created this illustration using only Photoshop and without a model, please keep watching. The first thing that I did was I drew a horizon line a little over the center of my page. Then on that line I drew a dot which will be my vanishing point that all my lines must converge to. My vertical and horizontal lines will remain the same. I pulled down a guide from the ruler above to my horizon line. And then I drew all of my construction lines. And if you get confused, I would recommend to lower the opacity of the layer, add another layer on top, and then just catch the important ones. I duplicated the layer of the concrete, rasterized them and then with a soft eraser I erased the edge of the top concrete to blend them both together. And then I added a layer mask to concrete texture while having my floor selected using the polygonal lasso tool. Click on the adjustment and adjust your hues and saturation, obviously to your liking. I added a dirty concrete texture to help with the realism of the illustration. And I changed its blending mode, erased the edges, and then with a soft eraser, I blend the texture with the concrete. I added concrete panels for the ceiling the same way I did the concrete floor, duplicate the layer, overlap, and merge. Resize your concrete and then adjust the levels of the panels being that the further away from you is lighter and as it gets close to you it gets darker. I added shadows to the panels on a new layer with a soft brush. And then I added a forest tree image behind the layers and I aligned both horizon lines. I added a rock image and transformed it to fit my perspective. And then with a hard brush I erased all the unwanted edges and then adjusted curves, hues and saturation to make sure that the image was desaturated. Next, I added an image of a grass edge using the transform tool. I added a grass texture to blend the edge with the rock image. And to tie everything together, I used the clone stamp tool. You press Alt on your grass and then just paint using this tool. It makes great realistic texture. I added a treetop image, just the levels to match my bottom trees, and then a larger tree and branches. And again, adjust the levels. I added a moss layer mask to the rocks. To add depth to my field, using the rectangular select tool, select from the horizon line upwards and fill it all with white using solid color adjustment layer. And I change this blending mode to overlay. Duplicate your tree layer with the top layer being light in color and opacity by adjusting the levels and the bottom layer being high in contrast. So that when you erase the trees from the top layer, the trees from the bottom layers will be high in contrast. Select the glass using the polygonal lasso tool and fill it all with white using an adjustment layer. We're not going to use the white, we're just going to use it as a guide. Start painting your frames using a square brush size 2 pixels.
the back forest is going to be much lighter because it's going to be reflected twice. And then the frames consist of two lines, a lighter gray closer to the light and a darker gray in the shadows, just to make sure it looks 3D. Paint all of the frames the same way and then experiment with your lights and reflections. So here I'm just doing a curved shape for interest using the pen tool on a low opacity layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E all together and as you can see it will merge all the layers into one layer without actually disturbing all, your, all of your layers so in case you wanted to edit anything you can do that. Cut out the ceiling and forest from the new layer and reflect it on the glass using the transform tool. Adjust its opacity, blended mode and erase any hard edges. I added more light reflections on the opposite side and if you want, you can always use a reference photo to see how light reflects and breaks. I added shadows from the ceiling and the glass walls with the polygonal lasso tool, filled it all with black, changes the opacity and blend mode. I added more shadows to add contrast to the illustration. And then a cooling filter to tie all of the elements of the image together. Increase the opacity of the lights or duplicate the layer until you get the desired density. I duplicate mine like 10 or 11 times. Make some sharp edges with a polygonal tool and some soft edges with a soft eraser brush. I added a fog image and I changed its blending mode to add atmosphere to the image. Using the polygonal lasso tool again, trace out a light beam and fill it with white using an adjustment layer. Blur the light using a Gaussian blur. I changed its opacity and then duplicated the layer, placed it on top of the first layer and increased its opacity. And obviously you can do this as many times as you want, but preferably two or three. Cut out a man from an image or use a pre-cut PNG file. However, let me tell you, there was a lot of good looking candidates, I mean, appropriate images, and a lot more variety. I cut him out using the quick selection tool and then refined the edges. Make sure when you're placing human figures, make sure his head reaches the horizon line, not higher or lower. But if you have more than one figure, it's always best if you could just bobble their heads a little over or under the horizon line to show a difference in height. I change his levels, add a light layer on top of him, duplicate the human figure, and I change his hue and saturation to complete black. And then I added an extending tail of a shadow using the polygonal lasso tool, change his blending mode, opacity, and a Gaussian blur. Place the image of a tree branch after you change his hue and saturation to complete black to mimic the shadows from the trees. Here, I noticed that his trousers needed fixing, so I just fixed it with the clone stamp tool. Using a light texture brush, I added more shadows. Mm -hmm. 
using the camera raw filter. Play with the settings until you're happy. And voila, you're done! Please like this video and share it with your friends so I know to make more videos just like this one. I'm Rasha Shururu and I will see you next time.